great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Now this morning in the kitchen, the lovely Catherine has got a wholemeal carrot loaf that is going to be great for all of the family. Good morning again, Hi, Catherine. Love. How are you? How are you, now, my dear? I'm hanging in now as best I can. <laughs> my old hip is giving me terrible jib anyway. It is, isn't it? Oh. Catherine oh. Lady needs a hip replacement. Whoever's listening, she needs it quick. Rapid. Rapid. <laughs> Rapid. We need to be picked up today and get it sorted. <laughs> yeah. Now, Kieran, what are you making for us? It's a can uh, yeah, it's, here I have eight ounces of grated carrot. Okay. Now, coarsely grate the carrot. Right. And um, no, This is a stupid is, question, but is this raw? Raw carrot, raw carrot, yeah. Now, and um, that's about two large carrots, Kira. okay? Now, to that, we're going to add the liquid. And here I've measured out 200 mils of um, sunflower oil. Now, a tip for you. Mm -hmm. To measure out your um, honey, I just put the jug with the oil in it on the weighing scales. Yes. Put it to zero. Put it to zero. And now add in my six ounces of honey. So right. it's, it's much easier to do this way, you see. Uh, Put it in. Well, there's a good it's bit of honey six. going into it. There is, yeah. This is, there's no sugar in this now, just the honey. OK. Ooh, pretty sweet. Now, so, six ounces of honey. Six ounces of honey. And can you use so, other oil or just sunflower oil? Sunflower oil is best. It is yeah. best, OK. The olive oil is not a bit heavy. And the rapeseed in that is just not as Not as good. good. No, I find that sunflower is about the best. OK. Now, we put that in, and I'm going to add to that. Now, the reason I'm using the larger jug is just to make it easier to beat. If you measure it all into one jug, it's a bit silly what I did there, um, it'll work just as well. OK. Now, normally, I would just um, stick a mixer into that. But, believe it or not... I arrived this morning with, guess what? One beater, no, two beaters that don't match the mixer. So instead we're going to use a fork. Look, it's a wholemeal loaf, exactly. it's a traditional loaf, and we're going to cook the and traditional way, or bake the show, traditional exactly. way. And it just goes to show if you don't have a mixer, you can still make it. You don't need the it. The important thing is just to make sure you have the honey, the oil, and the two eggs well blended. The full eggs. And by using the large jug or a large bowl, you can use a bowl as well on the scales, it works just as well. So there we go now. So just give it a good put that mix. In. Yeah. We're going to, again, of course, I swear by the old spatula, Kira. scoop all the raw mixture out. Yeah, get everything in. And that's that done. And then now, give it a good mix. We're going to mix these around together. That's the carrot, the oil, the honey and the um, eggs, OK? Now we're going to add to that the dry ingredients. And they are 225 grams, that's 8 ounces of our coarse wholemeal. Again, coarse. Coarse wholemeal, no white flour in this, just the wholemeal. OK. Now we're going to add to that my... One teaspoonful of nutmeg, so it is quite spicy. So you can do, use a little bit less, can you, if you well, do you could cut down like. on it if you wish, yeah. Right. Now, what I like to do, actually, is just to... I'm going to be sieving in the bread soda anyway, Kira. So okay. I'm just going to well, Why do you sieve in, sieve the in those? Just... Because the bread soda particularly is prone to lumping. And if you get a lump of soda in the cake, it's not that tasty. No, it so absolutely have, is not. Not that you'd goes, ever get that Catherine. <laughs> and it goes green in it. Oh, right. So now, two teaspoonfuls of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And you don't have to sieve that? No. OK. Just the nutmeg and the soda is inclined to be um, a bit on the lumpy side. Lovely smell of that, Catherine, it's isn't there? Oh, yeah, I love Reminds it. Reminds me of Christmas and yeah. a nutmeg. Mmm, yummy. Now, a teaspoonful, which means the same amount above the rim of the spoon as beneath it, of bread soda. OK. So this is really, that's... really simple to make. So yeah, all we do now is... Few wee elements to it. But that's all. Do you know the, the good thing about this? People are going to have this in their house. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You'll have all of these things, carrots. Yeah, absolutely. Bit, bit so now, a large bowl, and you just mix. Now, this is quite a wet mixture here, as you yeah, see. Yeah, I was It's quite a sticky. You see now the consistency of that? Well, I have to say that with the smell earlier, oh, I was yeah. having a smell earlier, it reminds me kind of a treacle loaf or something, isn't it? It does. There's no treacle at all in it. There's yeah. nothing. There's the consistency of it now. So we now just transfer that to the two pound loaf tin, which you can lightly grease and line the tin on the base and the sides. Or, as I've mentioned several times before, Kira, mm -hmm. these liners you get nowadays I find are wonderful. Yeah, and then you don't have to do the washing no, up. No, just no washing up. What's the difference between this and a, and a carrot cake? Is it just the flour it's, that you use or no. what? No. Oh, it is. Just the wholemeal flour. Okay. Exactly. And a lot of the carrot cakes nowadays are made with wholemeal flour anyway, Kira. OK, and so it's a bit it's healthier. Higher, higher in fibre, exactly. Higher in fibre. Now, we just put that over there. There we have it. So this is, now, more, of a, this is a loaf. This is more of a bread. Well, it's more... It's more, more Cakey bread, really. Cakey bread, okay. Yeah, okay we've got a hybrid. Is. Now, this goes into a preheated oven, 180, 350, gas mark four for about 45 minutes. So we have one here. And this is one I made mm. earlier. Now, and it Catherine... does get nice and dark because we're using the wholemeal flour. You love this. This is right up your street, now, isn't it? Yep. You leave that in the tin to go cold, then you put it on a wire tray. When it's gone cold, we have one we made earlier, one well, we made last night, actually. That's what it looks like. Lovely. I have we have a recipe for the um, 
Thanks, Mark. For the, the topping, which just is just here. icing sugar, cream cheese. I use a low-fat cream cheese and some icing sugar. Now, you can put some over it like that, or now that we're into the picnic season, a tip. If you bring a loaf with you and your bread knife, put some of the icing into a container and... So don't travel with it when you're, on, when you're on your picnic, cut your slices and you can spread the icing on each slice for serving. Ooh. Now, Mark, you're trying to heal, as you call now, it. Yeah, actually, Catherine crust. always, because I'm her second favourite. Ah. Oh, I'm obviously her first favourite. <laughs> <laughs> I take it that's what you're, you're suggesting. You're not even in the hate me place, honey. Listen, not even in the top ten. The two of us are, there's Alan in front and the rest of us pick up, we're oh. coming up behind, right? But <laughs> Catherine, in fairness, does give me the heel. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look at the yes. size of this heel. Can you get a shot of that? It's like, it's like a standalone key. Take off the back of it. Look at the size of that. Delicious. <laughs> Heel as in doorstep, Catherine. Yeah. Now, no, slice it again. No, well, go thank to the back you. if you want. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, you must be joking. Would you put yeah. butter on that, Catherine? You don't really need to, Kira, but most people would. If With we have use here now, we'd love butter on it. Yeah, I would have butter. We've been butter on that. Even though it gives out yards to me about it. And how long will butter. that last? Now, that's a very moist carrot cake, as you see. What do you think of it, Mark? It's lovely, oh, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. Um, keep that once it's that's gone cold. That's my Get away. Sorry. In an airtight container. Cut the finger off yourself, woman. What I'm, I'm making an absolute you really disaster are awkward, aren't out of this. I am a wee bit clumsy. Okay, cheeky. And you're the best knife Maybe in the house. Maybe if you would move out of the way and let me at it. I'm <laughs> fine. I'll move entirely out of your way. Right? The there you go. Okay, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Good, isn't it? That's lovely. Yeah. Tasty, yummy cake. Need a cup of tea now. Good Thank tea. you, as always. Catherine. My pleasure, everybody. Enjoy. Uh, so to come on Ireland M this morning. We're going to be talking to Pete the vet about the health benefits that your pet can bring to your family and whether it's okay to let them lick your face, which is causing huge Con debate here oh, this huge morning. Con controversy Coming here. Yeah. all morning here again <laughs> this morning. Uh, Noel will be filling in, all in on all the events going on around the country. And Derek Carberry is going to be focusing on the eyebrows in his makeup masterclass that is after 10. See you in a few. Great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.